Hello, Papagena. Tu le bella con la papaya. Can you speak minion? Are you fluent now? Banana. <laughs> Macarena. Banana. That's about all I can do. I it's wish. an amazing language. It's the most incredible language because it, 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 unlike any other language, you, you kind of don't have to, you understand it for some reason. Even though you, it doesn't make sense, you understand watching, watching the minions speak it, you know exactly what's going on. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Banana. Uh, Stuart. Macarena. Pierre does the vo the director uh, does the voice of of all of the minions, and it's it's you really kind of have to be European because it's a mixture of French and Spanish and Portuguese and Russian and this and that, and you know it's what the Europeans have on on us hands down is they all speak a million languages and they're all so cool and they can all just flip between Italian and French and and whatever, and they just have it right at their fingertips. Me bella. <laughs> it should be the new, the language that everyone has to learn. Everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Walter, look! These adorable little freaks are headed to Orlando, too. I love that they said it in 1968. The soundtrack is so great. I was just, you know, really great songs. Parents are going to love it. I mean, it's just one of those films that, that it doesn't matter. that it's, it's, it's an animated film, but it's going to be popular to, to everyone, no matter what age. That's what's so great. It's good to have movies where you can go with everybody. You're going to VillainCon, aren't you? VillainCon! I'm gonna get all my favorite villains to sign my magazine. Scarlet Overkill! If I was a minion, that's who I'd want to work for. If you could choose a person, living or dead, doesn't have to be evil, but someone that you would love to be a minion of. I would be Chewbacca to Han Solo. Okay. Right? He's kind of a minion he in his is. own little way. Yeah. But Chewie had like kind of a cool attitude and didn't take any guff from Han. That's what I would be. And he had a, that great, cool, like, crossbow laser beam somehow. Yeah. I don't know how that worked, but it was awesome. Yeah, why did you need a crossbow on a blaster? It really seems strange. A little, yeah. Not thought through. Yeah. I think they had two things, like, left in the prop department, and they were like, I don't know, just paste them together, you guys. Give it know. to the Wookiee. Give it to the Wookiee. Let the Wookiee win. Let the Wookiee win, exactly. <laughs>